Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Ground School Starchin. And today we're, we're going to be reviewing engines, particularly constructions of an engine. So this is what we call an internal combustion engine, and uh, why it's called internal combustion engine, we're uh, well, we're going to see. And uh, it's also a piston engine. And that too, we're going to see. So <coughs> let's let's go ahead and uh, list off some parts of the engine. So this is what's called the intake valve. The intake valve. And what it does is it takes in a fuel gas mixture. Okay, so we go to the other side and we see this purple thing here, and it's called an exhaust valve. Okay, so it allows gases to escape. Okay, so keep that in mind gases to escape and fuel gas mixture to come in. This is what's called a spark plug, and it ignites something. Now, what does it ignite? Well, oops, there you go. <laughs> a bit. There you go, spark plugs. So it allows you to ignite something. Now, what does it ignite? Well, what does the intake valve take in? It takes in a fuel gas mixture, and it ignites the fuel gas mixture to create a combustion, to create a fire or a high burst of energy in combustion. So, can we guess what this is called? Well, if you guess combustion chamber, you're right. So let's just write that down: combustion chamber. I need to make my pen a bit, a bit less thick, so there you go. And uh, this is the combustion chamber. So combustion happens here, and uh, what happens when there's combustion? Well, something has to move. All this energy can't just remain contained in this one place. So what moves? Well, it's the piston that moves, the piston. And this blue thing here is the piston. So it moves and uh, it goes down this chamber here with, and it's connected to something. And uh, what do you think it's connected to? Well, it's connected to the connecting rod. Pretty, pretty easy explanations here. Hopefully everybody gets it. So this is the connecting rod, okay? And well, if there's a connecting rod and it's connected to the piston, it's also connected to something else. And what this connect, what this thing here, this green thing, it's called a crankshaft. <coughs> so you know, instead of singing that. Oh, the left bone is connected to the right bone song next time. You can sing the piston is connected to the crankshaft song. Sounds fun. Awesome. So, let's just continue with the lesson. So, the top here is called the TDC, or the top dead center. And the top dead center is the maximum point which the piston can reach. The top, the limit, the top limit of the piston. And uh, this right here, can we guess what that is? Well, if you guess the bottom dead center, you are correct. Okay, so the distance between the top dead center and the bottom dead center, this is what's called the stroke of the piston. Stroke of the piston. <coughs> so for now, that's pretty much it. That that's all the uh, <coughs> that's all of the construction of an engine. And there are different things uh, like uh, <coughs> like this over here, and what this is. is called a camshaft. Now, we can review that. Whoops, wrong place to put the camshaft. All right, it's, it's somewhere over here. It allows the actual valves to open, but uh, if we want to review that, uh, we can go deeper into it uh, in the next few lessons if we need it. But uh, for the purpose of the Power Pilot Scholarship, this is usually what they review for during the exam. And uh, so let's stick to this. So that's pretty much the construction of the engine. And I felt like I spelled engine construction wrong there, but that's pretty much it. So look forward to next time when we'll be reviewing the four-stroke cycle uh, for the engines. So thanks for watching the video, and uh, be sure to subscribe.